Same day dough. This dough was made two hours ago. Bulk proofed it. I'm going to boil it up now, give it 30 minutes, and then I'm going to use it and see what the cook is like. Let's do it. Four hundred and ninety-three just there, and four hundred and sixty on the centre of the stone. I gotta wait for this to go down. And the funny thing is, the other day I couldn't get it to get high. It took forever. Now it's boom. 20 minutes and it's gone like that it's funny the same sort of day I, th I think the big difference is when you're heating up your oven for me anyway what i found after all these years is the wind it makes such a difference to heat up times especially with these very open ovens like this and it shows just a little breeze can affect the heat up time of the stone now it's come right down very quickly actually in about a minute it's down to 427 so I'm gonna put this back up on full and put my pizza in but not shoot it to the back keep it quite close to the center let's get this in That's what's great about this pizza oven is that no matter the size of your pizza, it'll cook it. You can go big, small, calzone, nice cast iron dish dishes. Pretty much a little bit more there. Done. Yeah. Done.
So I think the crust has cooked nicely. it's curled up the salami there not overcooked it but just a two hour warm room proof and then boil up 30 minutes before and I've pretty much got a, a good bubble on there I used 0 0.9 grams of yeast it was just under one gram of dried yeast for this it was 60% hydration and this is a 200 gram dough ball just salt Yeast, water, flour, that's all you need. No oil. You don't need oil. So let's check the flavour of this pizza. We've seen the cook and you can see the crust and it's got a nice crispy crust. Bubbling there. This is really good. Bit of proofing though, just give it that extra. It's like a really decent pizza cook and crust and flavours to come out of a very rushed need and proof, which is hopefully proof that you can cook and make your pizza dough on the same day within like two hours. It'll come out nice, we'll have nice pizza. There's so many pizzas that have come out that look like exactly like this that I've proofed for three days in the fridge. They look exactly the same, just a slight difference in the taste, but you know, not enough to go, oh my gosh. Can't possibly make this ever. You can. So yeah, very nice. I use my bread maker to make this dough as I always do. I don't need dough by hand. And I then let it proof in bulk for two hours. Then in a, in a warm room, Balled it up to dough balls, let it rest for 30 minutes and then started stretching it. So overall the dough was okay, everything was okay about the pizza, I really enjoyed it, it was very tasty but there are differences between a dough that's only proofed for two hours compared to a dough that's proofed for longer. There are benefits to proofing for longer. I felt that the stretch was a bit harder to deal with, um, I felt it was harder to stretch but it wasn't holy and I didn't have a problem stretching it. It was just, it took a bit longer and I couldn't really get it to the size I wanted it to. It kept like bouncing back to 10 inches and I was trying to get it to 12 to 13 inches. But other than that, I really enjoyed the pizza. I think the cook came out really well. I wouldn't normally make a two hour dough proof pizza but I would recommend that if you can to do a 24 hour dough proof rather than a two hour dough proof because I think you will find a considerable difference in the quality of your pizza dough stretch and everything and your bubbling and and things like that so I just think it's better to proof it for 24 hours rather than for two but this shows you can do it if you want that pizza in two and a half hours you can you can do it and it, it's okay it's good so that's what the test was about just seeing if I could get a nice pizza in a very short period of time I have to give credit to the bread maker for this test because I think that if I needed it I don't think it would have come out I don't think the dough would have been as good in this test if I hadn't been using a bread maker so I have to give the credit to the bread maker <laughs> and I find them better than kitchen mixers with a spiral hook. I have tried that. I didn't need it. I didn't feel that it was kneading the dough well enough and that's why I used my bread maker. I had one anyway. I knew that it always needed my dough really well and once I started making pizza it just continued to make me very good or knead my dough very well so yeah. I'm going through all of the requests that you've asked me to make. Um, this is one of them and I have quite a number of them that I'm going working through so I uh, hope you find them useful and that you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching, take care and I'll see you soon. Bye!